Hello kids. Today we will be learning science chapter number 3. My needs food we eat. And our learning objectives are why do we need food? Where do we get food from? Meals of the day, healthy eating habits, table manners. These are all the points we are going to include in our chapter. Now let's begin. Can you tell me why do we need food? All living things need food like humans, birds and animals. They all need food to live. But why? Why do we need food? We need food to live and grow. So to live and grow we need food. We need food to grow strong and healthy. Food gives us energy for work and play. Good food makes our bones and body strong. We eat different kinds of food. The food that we eat should be fresh and well cooked. We should not eat stale food. Now what is stale food? I have already explained you the meaning. The stale foods are the food that are no longer is used to consume okay now can you tell me from where do we get our food we get our food from plants and animals we get fruits vegetables and grains like rice and wheat from plants whereas milk and milk products eggs and meat come from animals Food from plants include food grains, fruits and vegetables. Food grains we get from plants include rice, oat, wheat, jowar, maize, millets. Whereas fruits we get from plant includes orange, grapes, apple, pineapple, banana, mangoes and many more. Vegetables we get from plants include potato, cabbage, onion, carrot, cauliflower, brinjal, green peas, capsicum, lady's finger and many more. So these are the food we get from plants. Now let's see what are the food we get from animals. From animals we get milk. You all must be drinking milk right? So, milk is very important and the products made by milk are, are curd, milkshake, butter, cheese, ice cream and buttermilk. Another thing we get from animals are meat and fish. Do you know milk is nature's wellness drink? Milk is also known as a complete food. Now let us see a small video based on the above topic. We eat varieties of food which can be categorized into following kinds of food. It is energy giving food, bodybuilding food and protective food. Let us see which are the fruits gives us the following. First energy giving food. Energy giving food gives us energy and strength. Such food includes chapati, rice, potato, banana, cooking oil, maize, anibana, butter. To do our daily activity, especially the kids, the laborer or the person who works in a gym, they need lots of energy. So for that we need these kind of food. The next is bodybuilding food. Bodybuilding food helps to build our body. Such food include pulses, meat, fish and egg. Milk is also a bodybuilding food. It helps build strong teeth and bones. Now, we all know that to grow up strong and healthy, we need to build our body. <coughs> so, we need a bodybuilding food. Now moving to the next kind of food that is protective fruit. 
protective food helps us to protect our, from the illness that it, it it helps to protect our body from getting ill now these kind of fruits include fresh vegetables and fruits so it is very important to eat all kind of fruits and vegetables now let us see a small video based on the topic kinds of food we eat different kinds of food to stay healthy food can be put into the following groups energy giving food body building food protective food energy giving food this kind of food gives us energy to work and play bread pasta potatoes dosas rice rotis oil and butter are some examples of energy giving food people who do a lot of physical activities like sportsmen laborers and growing children need a lot of energy giving food body building food this kind of food helps our body to grow big and strong milk fish eggs chicken soya curd and pulses are some examples of body building food protective food this kind of food protects us from germs and diseases it keeps us healthy and fit fruits and vegetables are protective food so we have seen the three kinds of food that is energy giving food body building food and protective food now let now do you know some people they only eat the food that we get from plants like fruits vegetables and food grains such people are known as vegetarians whereas the people who eat the food we get from plants as well as animals that is egg meat and fish are called non vegetarians now moving to the next part that is raw and cooked food some vegetables like carrot cucumber mint tomatoes and all fruits and nuts can be eaten raw that is without cooking whereas some food like rice chapati meat eggs need to be cooked before eating so there are kind of foods that we eat that can be eaten raw and some foods that has to be cooked before eating but do you all know there are some foods that can be eaten raw as well as cooked few examples are onion onion can be eaten raw in salads carrot tomatoes these can be eaten raw as well as you can cook them and eat bananas as well banana can be eaten raw when it is completely ripe but it can be eaten after cooking as well like making chips or making a curry same goes with the mango so today here we come to the end of today's session thank you